I'm in Death Valley National Park looking for fossils. Come along with me as I show you this fascinating place. Greetings! I'm on the north end of Death Valley National Park. I'm off of the uh, racetrack road. You might have heard of that one where the uh, they have the moving rocks. Well, I didn't go to the moving rocks today because this was going to take all day. I'm at the Ubihibi Mine, so I'm going to show you some of that. And then I'm going to hike down this canyon to where it intersects with Corridor Canyon. And there are fossils at the intersection of the two canyons. So let's get this started. Let's go. The Ubihibi mine was originally a copper mine. But in 1906, one of the owners discovered a lead vein. And this also had a high silver content. In 1908... The mine was described as easily the biggest undeveloped property of its kind in California. Later that year, a road was completed from Racetrack Valley to the Tonopah Las Vegas Railroad at Bonnie Claire, Nevada. The ore pulled out averaged about $40 a ton. That was not enough to cover the cost of the animal-powered transportation to the railroad. The problem was getting water also. The nearest water was seven miles away from a barely flowing spring. In 1915, the owners hired a contractor to haul the ore with a tractor instead of animals. The tractor had a 10-ton capacity and it made the mine profitable. 1920, some of the claims were sold to a Tonopah mining company. They dug a new tunnel that turned out better than the others. 284,000 pounds of lead and 500 pounds of silver. Later, lead prices dropped and it again closed. In 1927, it was leased out and those people made $55,000 with 25 shipments. The next four decades, it opened and closed based on lead prices. It closed for good in 1968. It was one of the most productive mines of the Death Valley area. Now that I'm done walking around this mining camp, I'm hiking down the canyon. I'm going to find those fossils. You can kind of make out this desert big horn here. You can see its horns there. And then there's a smaller one. Get out of the get the shadow off there. Okay, and then you can see another one. Right there is its horns. These are hard to make out, but they are there. No telling how old they are. 
just as I'm exiting this canyon into Corridor Canyon, here's this boulder and it is filled with fossils. And the first time I came here a few years ago, I thought these were earthworm fossils. But then I was reading about them and they are called crinoids. It's a marine invertebrate. And they're these particular ones are from the what geologists call the Mississippian era, which started which ended 330 million years ago. And this rock is just filled with them. So now I'm up looking for the layer that that boulder with all the fossils came from and I have found it and it's quite the thick layer. petroglyph and it's right next to some more fossils. pretty cool canyon and uh the, wish i had more time i might would have liked to have hiked down corridor canyon to what they call the corridor or it is supposed to be a really nice slot canyon and then uh it would have been nice if i'd had more time to hike up this old mining road road up where you saw that tram uh there's supposedly a cabin up there but it's a pretty steep hike uh, no the fossils are what I'm really here for, so I'm just going to do a quick video with the mine, and I really want to get down to those fossils before it gets too late in the day. Is it takes an hour and a half just for me to get out here because that racetrack road is pretty rough. So, until next time, take care.